Welcome. In front of me is a Oppo Reno 5Z and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now to get started, uh, number one, you can see that the device is locked. It's locked using a pattern and if I close this, it's also locked using the Google account. So throughout the process, I'll show you how you can bypass this and then completely remove it. But for this, we will unfortunately need a secondary device that can be any kind of phone that is running Android, which will give you access to the uh, Oppo uh, phone clone or clone phone application. So that's basically what we will need at a secondary phone. Now, uh, additionally, this process is going to work for Android 13, which this is running. And I'm recording that at the beginning of 2024. Uh, though keep in mind Android 13 is not the newest Android, it's 14. So if your device or whatever device you're trying to do this with is running Android 13, chances are this will continue to work throughout uh, as long as it's not updated to the newer Android. Now with that out of the way, let's get started. Now one thing that you need to do is connect to your Wi-Fi network, which I have already done so. If you are at the beginning of the setup, just go forward, connect to your network, and then basically progress forward. Or well, if you're already connected, then stay here. Now uh, one thing is when you connect to network, chance is that it's going to go to the next page. If it does so, just go back. Now once here, uh, we're going to click on that information icon next to our connected network which just to show this, if you do this on ones that aren't connected, that's the options that you see right here. If I click on this, uh, on this one, which I am connected to, I'm gonna hover my hand just for a moment, just so I can see, oh wait, there's no password. So anyway, you will see that's how it looks like when you click on the information icon on the connected network. Here you wanna select share, which I'm again gonna put my hand over because it's gonna bring up the QR code along with the password. Now the thing that actually matters is this button at the bottom right here below the QR code nearby. Click on it, continue, and then select allow, need help sharing, and that's basically it. Next, click on the three dots and select share article, message, new message, two, just slap any kind of numbers on there, it does not matter whatsoever. Keep in mind, there is no SIM card in this device whatsoever. Give it a second and we'll basically paste that article into our message field. So we want to get rid of it because we don't really care for it. And what we care for is... YouTube. Now, um, it is important that you put in the www extension before. If you don't and you send this and try to open it up, it's gonna open up YouTube in a pop-up view. It's not what we want. So when you add the www extension, it actually opens it up in its full-fledged uh, application form factor. And that is what we need. That version has more options, which we will need to utilize. So just keep that in mind. So from there, we're gonna send it, which this message isn't actually being sent to anyone, as you can see, not sent, because there's no SIM card and the number doesn't exist. Now, in this pop-up right here from our sent message, you want to click on top to load preview and then click on the image of YouTube, which will obviously open up our YouTube. Now, here we're gonna select the account icon, settings, about Google privacy policy, which opens up Chrome, select without using an account, no thanks. And then at the top, you want to navigate to hard reset.info slash bypass. Like this. Now, if you need a moment to write this link yourself, do pause the video. Continue with recommended. Now here we're gonna start scrolling down, ignore the abominable amount of ads. And you want to select settings right here. When you click on it, it actually opens up the phone settings through browser, which is pretty nice. And in here, we want to go to home screen and a lock screen. And then home screen layout. 
when you click on it it just closes it up and opens up our home screen now it is very important to note that this device is still not unlocked the phone is still in the setup stage and anything that we would do right now the phone would consider this as a setup stage if we reboot the device it might just go back to the setup screen so keep that in mind we're not finished and it will matter this kind of state of the device later on once i'm gonna say guide you through basically the finishing processes later on but right now what we wanted to do is swipe to the left and we're looking for clone phone which actually isn't here oh our tools so you're looking for the tools folder and you have the clone phone application open that up then select that this is a new device allow other android assuming obviously you, you are using other android as your secondary device which you probably should i have no idea if this would work with iphone even though if we go back we do have an iphone as an option uh i have no idea like i said if this will work never tried it so i will be doing this through android which has been tested by me and i know that it works so this phone is right now prepped now we can grab our second device here you want to go into your play store Search for clone phone. I already might have it installed. There we go, opt for clone phone. Okay, I don't, so I'm gonna select install. I'm gonna select open. Agree and continue. Start migrating, settings. And we're gonna need to allow a bunch of different things. So just whatever it opens up, kind of win whatever window, uh, select settings or in here in list like this, you're looking for the actual application, which is clone phone. I have two of them, don't worry. This one is from OnePlus, this one is from Oppo. Same company and in all honesty, I could have been using the OnePlus version and it would still work. Uh, but for the well, purposes of this video, I'm gonna be using the dedicated one that is named in the same way. In any case, uh, once you enable whatever I wanted you to enable, go back again and again settings, toggle on whatever, okay, settings, toggle on, go back, allow, and we're good to go. So now we can see camera is launched, so all you want to do is point the camera at this little box right here. It will then connect these two devices together. There we go. Give it a second, it's gonna load all the data that is on your device. And you want to deselect everything by clicking right here at the top. Next, uh, select apps by tapping on the text itself, and then choose any kind of application from the list. Now, I do recommend selecting an application that is smallest in size. So something like Google Podcast seems to be the smallest one. Let's see if there's anything lower than this. And oh, there we go. Oh no, that's 117, not one. Um, so yeah, it looks like the Google Podcast is the smallest one. Uh, the reason I'm picking the smallest size from the list is because we do need to transfer it over. The bigger the size, the longer it's gonna take. So it's just kind of more convenient to pick something that is smaller in this case it's going to take shorter amount of time next i'm going to select next actually before i do so i'm going to go back never mind i guess i'm not if understood start migrating okay so it's going to start migrating uh this one just took a literally brief moment done so yeah we're finished with this phone Let's move it to the side Next, you can see on the phone right here that the migration has been completed. Now, it says that migration report successful, zero, failed, one. You probably will see the same thing. It does not matter. Uh, the fact that it tried to mig migrate and it technically completed the migration is all we need. The fact that it didn't actually migrate anything does not matter. Anyway, next, once you press to basically complete the migration, 
it takes you to the setup screen with the navigation, which if you already set up this kind of device before, you probably are aware that navigation settings are after verification. So right here, we're just gonna select our navigation method. I'm gonna skip selecting any kind of screen lock. I'm gonna select done and get started. And this finishes up the setup. Now, that being said, the phone is still not unlocked. We just managed to bypass the, uh, the verification but the verification still exists on this phone. So there's one last thing that we will need to do, which is navigate into the settings, scroll down to additional settings and scroll down again and select, uh, where is it? Oh, there we go. Backup and reset, reset phone, erase all data, erase all data. And once you click on the erase all data for the second time here, it's going to go through a factory reset. Once that's completed, the device will be fully unlocked. Now, going back to what I was saying before, uh, the reason we didn't do this right off the get-go when we did the glitch so it opened up the home screen is because at that point, the phone knew that it's still in a setup process. So by going to the settings in through there, back then, and performing a reset, this would have done nothing. Now that the device is past the setup screen, it's gonna allow us to reset the device, which will force the phone to remove any kind of protection from the phone. So that's why this is the last step, which will fully unlock your device. Now, that being said, I'm not gonna go over this specific process on the video, just because it's a factory reset and it's fully automatic. Once it's completed, the device is unlocked and you can go through the setup process, which you will be at, uh, in whatever way you want to. So, with that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.